Remove Face is a talented young artist from San Antonio, Texas who has made a name for himself in the underground over the past few years. Hopefully this video helps you learn a little more about this artist. Remove Face was born in Mexico but moved to Texas at a young age. Remove would have a creative side early on and he mentioned drawing being a hobby of his during his youth before music came into his life. He recalled playing his Daft Punk CDs while drawing different styles of the Daft Punk helmets and Spider-Man sketches amongst other things. This hobby would eventually slip away from Remove, however he said it's something he would like to return to in the future. Remove would first begin his musical journey during his 5th grade year. He said his school had an after school program that he attended where the school's music teacher would instruct the students on how to use the music software GarageBand with the school's iPads. Remove said eventually he found himself going home and using his own iPad to make music in his free time. In the beginning, Remove was just assembling instrumentals using loops, however over time he began experimenting with midis and implementing his vocals. As time would progress, Remove would become more exposed to the internet and during the 2016 era of SoundCloud, Remove would be inspired to pursue his own career as an artist and release the music he was making. By the time early 2017 had rolled around, Remove had created his own SoundCloud page and uploaded his music there. Around this time, the music he was making would fall into the stereotypical SoundCloud rapper genre of the time period. Remove would continue creating and uploading up until summer of 2019 when he decided he wanted to hang up this hobby and move on with his life. It wouldn't be until early 2021 when Remove was talked into creating music again by a friend of his. Remove's friend was making music at the time and had convinced Remove to collaborate on a song with him. Remove was a fan of the hyperpop genre that was popular at the time and he decided to experiment with vocals inspired by this style. Remove specifically mentioned the artist i9 Banzai as being a big inspiration of his during this time. After Remove was happy with how the song turned out and seeing it perform well numbers wise, he felt the passion he had for music become reignited. Remove would go on to rebrand his SoundCloud and he adopted the stage name Remove Face. Remove said he enjoyed a song titled Remove underscore face by the artist Ezekiel and had made that his username on Roblox without the underscore. Remove liked the way it looked and decided to use it as his stage name along with his Roblox character for a profile picture. The oldest song still public on Remove SoundCloud is the song titled Forerunner. This song was a remaster of one of his older songs so essentially the first song still public from the Remove Face project is the song titled Dennis Rodman. After getting back into the swing of things, Remove would turn towards Instagram to meet like-minded artists. Doing this would actually lead Remove into a collective titled Skullweb after meeting an artist by the name of Kurao Kami. Although networking with artists on Instagram was going well for Remove, he realized a lot of artists were also connecting through Discord and wanted to get more involved with music-related Discord communities. Getting involved on Discord proved to be a step in the right direction because it would be in the Moon47 underground Discord server where Remove met another small artist by the name of Universe. The two artists collaborated and clicked immediately. Remove and Universe would go on to release the song titled Forever. This song received a lot of attention upon its release and would afford the artist with a known presence in the underground. Remove and Universe would go on to release the song titled Tainted Love which was also successful and further reinforced themselves as voices in the underground. Remove had released a few more songs until the end of 2021 when he was forced to take some time off recording and releasing music when his laptop broke. Remove said this break was frustrating for him because he wanted to continue releasing music to capitalize on the attention he was receiving. During this break, Universe had sent Remove an open for the song titled Cash. Remove wanted to record on it immediately and decided to just use his phone. Soon after this, Remove was able to fix his laptop and started releasing music again. Around this time, Remove found a producer through YouTube Beats by the name of Nine Lives. Remove really enjoyed his beats and went on to record and release the song titled Shadow Keep over one of them. At this point, Remove started releasing music as often as he could. Around the middle of 2022, Remove decided it was time to put together his first full project titled Deface. Remove said it took some time to gather the beats, however, the recording process only took him one week. The project didn't do too much for him career-wise, however, he said it was a big moment for him. Remove did a lot of experimenting on the project and he felt a lot more confident with his artist evolution as a result of it. Remove said after the project there was an awkward period where he didn't like the music he was releasing for a while. This was until Remove heard the song titled Ruin Function by an artist friend of his by the name of Aura. Remove and Aura would go on to collaborate on the song titled Ruin Function 2 produced by Rachel. This song would be a success and would actually get Remove noticed by the artist Odatari later down the line. After Ruin Function 2, Remove would find a big amount of success with the song titled Feel. Remove said this song was a release of built up emotions and would be released on Valentine's Day in 2023. 
Another important song in Remove's discography would come after he discovered a producer by the name of Nuv For Real. Remove asked Nuv to collaborate and the two artists would create the song titled Noble Six. Remove said this is currently his favorite song to date. Remove's biggest song at the time of me writing this script titled On The Floor would not come to fruition without some controversy and turbulence. This situation is long-winded and probably deserves a video of its own but today I'll aim to make a long story short. Remove had mentioned originally recording this song over a beat from a producer known as KYSN. At the time Remove had a friendship with the artist Lumi Athena and decided to send the unreleased On The Floor track to him. Lumi enjoyed the song however he wanted to remake the beat. After Remove agreed to Lumi remaking the beat, the song was set to release as a collaboration sometime down the line. Lumi wanted to release the song through his label but this didn't feel right to Remove so the two artists agreed Remove would release the song and they would work out splits. Throughout the time leading up to the song's release, Lumi wasn't promoting the song as promised and Remove was beginning to feel used. By the time the song was released, Lumi's label had contacted Remove and said they wanted to work out splits however they never made any effort to. Soon after this, the song which had received a large amount of attention had been copyrighted and taken down. On top of this, Lumi had posted a slanderous paragraph towards Remove Face on his broadcast channel about the incident. Remove had then taken to the internet to expose Lumi's questionable actions and Remove found himself receiving a lot of support. Remove then went on to release the original on the floor and was able to recoup some of the attention it had originally received. At this point, with all the attention Remove was receiving, he decided it was a good time for him to release his first feature album. Remove would go on to put together his project titled The Face 2. Remove said it would be around this time that Odatari had reached out to him to collaborate. Odatari sent Remove the open for the song titled Material Love. After the collaboration, Odatari had asked Remove to open up a few shows on his tour. Remove ended up finishing off the tour doing several dates from Texas to California. As far as plans for the future goes, Remove just hopes to keep collaborating with like-minded creatives and also mentioned hoping to create the third installment in the Defaced series. Remove is a great young artist and I look forward to seeing where his career takes him. Well that's all for this video, big shout out to Hopeless for the edit and please subscribe for more mini documentaries on various underground artists.